एवरीवन इन टूडेज वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द हाइब्रिड इनहेरिटेंस इन सी शार्प डॉट नेट विद एग्जाम्पल सो एज यू नो देर आर फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस इन सी शार्प डॉट नेट सिंगल इनहेरिटेंस मल्टीपल मल्टी लेवल हेरार्चिकल एंड हाइब्रिड इनहेरिटेंस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट सिंगल मल्टीपल मल्टी लेवल एंड हेरार्चिकल इनहेरिटेंस इन फोर सेपरेट लेक्चर्स विद एग्जाम्पल and today we are going to discuss about the last type of inheritance that is a hybrid inheritance with example so first let's see what is meant by hybrid inheritance hybrid inheritance means the combination of or the collection of any two types of inheritance is called as a hybrid inheritance and which two types it may be a single inheritance with multi level inheritance or it may be a multi level inheritance with hierarchical inheritance so hybrid inheritance means the combination or collection of any two types of inheritance okay so let's see the program of hybrid inheritance in which i am going to combine two types of inheritance one is a multi level inheritance and second one is hierarchical inheritance or i can combine single inheritance with hierarchical inheritance okay so let's see the program okay so here i open the visual studio console application c sharp dot net with the program name that is a hybrid inheritance so here first i am going to write down the structure of a single inheritance for example class grandfather so this is a base class now i am going to create another derived class from this base class so write down class father colon base class name that is a grandfather okay so this is a base class that is a grandfather and from this class we create another class that is a father so this inheritance is a single inheritance single inheritance means there is a only one base class and only one derived class that type of inheritance is called as a single inheritance now from the class father i am going to create two derived classes one is a son and the second one is daughter so again this type of inheritance is called hierarchical inheritance hierarchical inheritance means there is a single base class and multiple derived classes now i am going to create two classes one is a son and the second one is daughter from the base class that is a father so again write down class son colon base class name father now again create another class another derived class from the class father so here write down class daughter colon base class name that is a father okay i hope you understand the logic remember once again hybrid inheritance means the combination of or the collection of any two types of inheritance okay so this is a single inheritance where the base class is grandfather and from this base class we create another class that is a father so this is a single inheritance now this is a hierarchical inheritance where the base class is father and from this base class we create two derived classes one is a son and the second one is daughter so this is a hierarchical inheritance structure so in this program we combine single inheritance with hierarchical inheritance so it is called as a hybrid inheritance now let's write down the code inside all the classes so first i am going to write down the code inside the base class that is a grandfather so write down public void suppose function name as display1 and then inside this function write down the statement that is console dot write line and then write down the simple statement that is a grandfather and then end of function display1 end of class grandfather now do the same for the derived class that is a father so again declare the function or define the function that is a public void display2 and then inside this display2 function write down console dot write line in bracket father end of function display2 and end of class father now the third class is a son so here again declare another function that is a public void display3 
and inside this function write down the statements that is a console dot write line in bracket double quotation sun end of function display 3 and end of class sun now inside the class daughter again write down the function that is a public void display 4 and inside this function write down console dot write line in bracket daughter end of function display 4 and then end of class daughter call all the functions inside main function so as you know we create object of derived class so here there are two derived classes one is a son and the second one is daughter as this is a hierarchical inheritance so first create the object of class son so write down son object name as s equal to new son now call the methods first i am going to call the method that is a display 1 then display 2 and then display 3 so here write down s dot display 1 then s dot display 2 and then s dot display 3 okay now daughter is also a derived class so i am going to create object of class daughter so daughter class name object name as a d for example equal to new class name Okay, now call the functions that is a d dot display one, then second one is d dot display two, and then d dot display four, and at the end write down console dot read line. Okay, so here the program execution start from the main function, and here we create the object of derived class sun, and we call the method that is a display one, two, and three. So here we are going to print grandfather, father and son. Now again daughter is also a derived class. So we create the object of a class daughter and then we call the function display 1, 2 and 4. So the output may be grandfather, then father and then daughter. Now let's run the program. Okay, so this is a display 1 function, then display 2, display 3. Again display 1, display 2 and display 4. So this is a simple program of a hybrid inheritance. I hope you understand very well. If you have any doubt regarding this topic, then let me know in the comment section. I will try to answer your questions. Thanks for watching.